making fresh pasta is not as complicated as you may think and is well worth the effort. I'm going to demonstrate how to make your fresh pasta dough and work it so that it is usable in your favorite pasta recipes. And for this, you will need flour, whole eggs, shelled water, tiny bit of olive oil, this is optional, and salt. To make your pasta dough, you have two options. Make it by hand in a bowl, this is hard work, a little bit, or you can use technology and today we're going to be using a food processor. You're going to see it's very easy. Place the flour into the food processor, all of it, then break the eggs, different colors. Put the lid onto the machine, add the salt, combine the dry ingredients, add the olive oil, The olive oil is an optional ingredient, but it will add a little bit of flavor and make the dough a little bit more soft. So it is optional, but highly recommended. Leave the machine running and add the egg one at a time. Increase the speed. and add a drop of cold water, a drop at a time. Good. Open the machine. With a spatula, clean the dry side or clean the sides to get all the big pieces from the edge of the bowl or the side of the bowl. So grab a little bit of dough, and as you see, it's very dry. It, it starts to stick a little bit together, but not quite, okay? So we're going to need to add just another drop of water, and the dough is going to form a very dry ball around the blade, okay? You're going to notice that the sound of the machine is going to change from it's going to go I'm going to show you. Close the ball. Start the machine again. So the noise is like shake it a bit. Add a little bit more water. So my dough is still a little bit too dry. So, another drop of cold water. As you see, the dough forms a ball around the blade. Remove the dough, Oops. grab all the dough from the ball, and place everything on your working station. So my dough is pretty soft, it's not sticky, right? And the consistency I'm looking at is maybe something like this. If you close your hand and you squeeze here, this is what you want, a little bit firm, okay? So now we need to knead the dough in order to make it smooth, to make a smooth 
ball. Add a little bit of flour on your working station and on your dough. Then knead the dough. To knead the dough, it takes three steps. Step one, fold edge to edge, right there, okay? Then press down to the center of the mass, turn to the left, do it again. Fold edge to edge, press down to the center of the mass, turn to the left. And by doing so, we're going to start to build what we call the key, which is like the belly button of the dough. By doing so, we're going to do what we call the key of the dough, which is the belly button of the dough. And every piece of dough should have only one key or one belly button. You see? I've divided my dough into four pieces because it makes things easier. So, and I apply the same kneading technique. Work your dough to make a nice little belly button, or little key. So I'm not working on the flour because the dough is not sticky. So the dough doesn't need any uh, flour. There we go. Okay. So that will be your key. It holds everything together. When you make your fresh pasta, such as lasagna, linguine, spaghetti, etc., you want to work your dough in small patches because the dough will dry out. So you want to keep it wrapped in order to avoid drying. Wrap your dough to keep it uh, moist to prevent from drying and refrigerate your dough at least 30 minutes before using it. This is our fresh pasta recipe. We will be using this recipe in our pasta course to make lasagna, linguine, fettuccine, etc. with absolutely great sauces. You will never buy again fresh pasta. It is easy to make and delicious. Happy cooking!